Hey, I'm Andrew Hales. Welcome to another edition of Chatting With. <laughs> I'm here with Luke Eilers, and he is, you have gone more than a year yeah, um, without touching yourself. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> is that true? Right now I'm on, a, I'm not sure the exact number, but about day 415 of NoFap. Really? Yeah. Damn. So, yeah. Um, that's crazy. What what got you into it in the first place? Yeah, um, yeah. I think I saw the the Reddit NoFap subreddit. I stumbled upon it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I I I, I, I tried it out, and um, I never was too serious about it. But in 2013, like I started doing some more research, and um, I decided to take it seriously and do three months. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really really hard but I was able to do three months back in 2013. So okay. uh, four years ago. Right, I remember so, that. Okay. I remember watching the video of, of the <laughs> review, 90 day okay. fap review, <laughs> no fap review. <laughs> it's uh, on Gold Jacket Loop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Ideally, I was trying not to look at porn, but I was still looking at porn over like throughout the last three years. Okay. And like, it, it was definitely an addiction for me. Like, I'd be like, I'm gonna stop this. And then I, or, or like, I consider an addiction is when I decided I want to stop this, uh -huh. but the thing has control over me. So even if my intent is to stop it, mm -hmm. I still do it. Huh. Um, I, or So maybe addiction isn't the right word, word but I felt porn had Dependent, control over me. Yeah. Dependent. Maybe it's yeah. more. I, I think addicting is, it's like the highest form of dependent, where it's like okay. you kind of get withdrawals if you don't have it. Yeah. Um, and it like ruins your life, whatever. Yeah. Did you feel like it was affecting your life? Uh, definitely, yeah. How, how so? Um, I had lots of kind of like shame after looking at porn. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just after Sure. Looking at porn and jerking off to someone's daughter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I would just, uh, yeah. Just not to feel too good about myself. Right, right. And then, so, so there were these kind of like psychological effects. And, really? um, but, um, I, I, I also experienced, um, whether they were like uh, physiological effects too, whether it's like dopamine and prefrontal cortex related or testosterone related. Yeah. But I would just feel, after I looked at porn, I would just have no motivation or focus to do anything productive or like be my best self. Right. And I'm just like, I just want to like lay in bed and not, not do anything. Yeah, yeah. And it seemed like if I, fa if I looked at porn and fapped, this would last like up, f it'd take like a week to kind of get out of the cycle. Okay, so, <clears throat> so now you've been about 400 something days on no fap. Yeah. And no porn. Oh, so uh, I, actually I have looked at porn a handful of times in the last 450 days. Okay. I haven't been, I, I've slipped on that, but I haven't. A handful of times, but no finishing. I, I haven't, I haven't masturbated in 415 days. What is different now? And how's it, how's it benefited your life? Yeah. So, um, the way I would describe it is I kind of just feel like 10% better in mm -hmm. like lots of areas like motivation, um, confidence, energy, mental clarity, Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, just stuff like that. I, I feel like 10% better. Um, okay. so uh, lots of people talk about like superpowers and how this like completely changes their life. Yeah. Um, like every once in a while I got some like spurts of that, but looking back now that I've been on this journey for a while, mm -hmm. I'd say it's, you know, it's just something that 10 makes my life 10 or 15% better. Hmm. But I would say that's like cumulative. Yeah. You know, like you're feeling better today, so then you like go to the gym, and then you, you know, benefits right. off snowball. Yeah. So it's just it's something that's. It's a core habit. It's a core habit, yeah. Yeah. And it breeds other habits. Exactly, yeah. Huh. And I also just, you know, just my self esteem has gone up. And I think, so there's those, and there's psychological effects too, where I feel more confident with, I definitely feel more confident with women, uh -huh. more confident making eyes with girls. Have you had sex? Yes, that's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um so so there is semen leaving your body. <laughs> <laughs> or no, so uh, actually and um e even though I did say I, I have been 
more confident with girls. I actually have been in a dry spell for a while right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but like, um, okay. like um, that's mainly, like I definitely feel a lot more confident. That's yeah, mainly yeah. due because I, I moved in with my parents sure, yeah. for a while and <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> what do you what so, do you do for work? What are you doing now? Yeah, um, so uh, I I've actually been doing some uh, some Skype therapy and mm -hmm. like Skype coaching. Okay. So with guys who have like depression, porn addiction, social anxiety, guys mm. who uh, want to talk about girls and like dating. So uh, cool. I consider like amateur therapy. I'm like pretty cheap. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like. Just someone to like, yeah. What's, uh, and they, these are followers of your, your YouTube channel? Yeah. Gold Jacket Loop? Yeah. If someone's on a no-fab streak and then they have sex with a girl and they, yeah. and they nut, is the, <laughs> is the streak over? Yeah, that's a really good question. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> or is it like a matter of opinion? <laughs> the majority of the community says, um, as long as you're doing it with a girl, or you know a partner then it's a healthy thing okay um but um yeah there's some people who uh, um are like only with a girl you love mm -hmm. um yeah. and like i've been doing some research onto this type of sex called kreza hmm. it's kind of like tantra but it's where you have like really really slow sex for like an hour and huh. you don't orgasm you or the girl don't orgasm you just have like really slow sex and it transmutates the energy wow so like I've like um yeah um I was reading a book about it and it really uh, captivated me I was like I, I've I've never like it, it kind of changed how I thought about sex yeah just like learning about it and you've had and so you that's the only kind of sex you have now or so um <laughs> <laughs> so um I'm curious like I I hope I find the girl soon who I could like explore that type of sex with yeah I've never had it <laughs> slow but slow sex. Like really slow, but for like a long time. Yeah, yeah. So like, like it, it doesn't work with like a one night stand of a girl you meet at the party. You know. Well, like, I mean, if she's into it, then whatever, you know. But like, yeah. I, I feel like you have to have like a connection, you know. Yeah. Like just to be a. Right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you get uh, wet dreams? That's another good question. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're never. Uh, yeah, r you're never cleaning the pipes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, I I do get wet dreams. Crazy. Yeah. Um, How often do you get wet dreams? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you're not having sex, I've actually uh, put a lot of thought into this, like trying to figure out if there's like patterns yeah. or ways to like reduce wet dreams. Yeah. Um, like uh, my philosophy, like some guys try really hard not to have wet dreams because it could like end their streak <laughs> oh yeah Which, like I, I think if you have a wet dream that doesn't it, it's like no it's it's not I your think, fault <laughs> I think that's like nature yeah Yeah, exactly it's right. like you're unconscious right yeah so I, I don't if someone if you have a wet dream I don't think it's that big of a deal yeah um but um like I have noticed when I am uh, like more engaged in life and more active doing stuff and exercising mm -hmm. I'll have less wet dreams Huh. It's like my kind of you get out that energy. It's like the sexual energy in me or my libido Yeah, as a psycho like analysis would say is like being used right, so then right. at night it doesn't activate it huh. um, And I, I I was talking um, To some people who practice the Kreza type of sex and they said that ener that type of sex like circulated their energy where they and they said they don't have what dreams anymore that huh. really interested me. I see a lot of uh, comments that are like Girls are looking at me differently and stuff, and they, yeah. can, they can smell my testosterone. <laughs> Do you experience that? Um, <laughs> I have experienced that a couple times. Hmm. Um, like, like you just seem to turn every girl on for no reason in the room. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you a story. Um, this was last year. Like, uh, the, I, I had. Um, I hadn't looked at porn in a while, and um, um, my streak wasn't very long at the time. But I remember, and like th there was this girl I was kind of crushing on, and I, I was like trying to grow the confidence to ask her out. Mm -hmm. And I remember, like, I was like, "All right, I'm gonna ask her out tomorrow," because she worked at this place I went to pretty frequently. Hmm. And uh, yeah, I'd been on no fat for a while, and I hadn't like. But this was last year, so it was still kind of new. But um, 
and I was like in the space where I was like, I'm gonna ask this girl out tomorrow. So I was like, you know, kind of going to the gym and like getting my energy up. Yeah. And it was it was really weird. I uh, I walked into my apartment, and there were some girls like chilling by the pool, mm -hmm. and th they like called me over. They're like, "Yo, come hang out with." Uh, th there were like these all these girls in their bikinis, and they like called me over. They like <laughs> hang out with them. Huh. And that was really weird. I was like, okay, so I hung out with these girls. Uh huh. <laughs> and then I uh, like I went back to my apartment, did some work, and then I went to the gym. When I was going to the gym. Like a girl actually like was drove by and rolled down her window and was like, "You're so hot," and huh. that's only happened to me uh, maybe twice in my life. Wow, you know, so that it, was like on the same day. It was on the same day. Like these girls called me to like hang out by the pool. It, it was like kind of freaky. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, what I've heard is after a week, it, mm -hmm. your, your your testosterone spikes. Yeah, you've heard that, and yeah. then it goes back to normal. But it's like on yeah. the seventh day for some reason. Yeah, yeah. You're like. Filled, you're just filled with testosterone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, might, it probably was one of those days. So uh, that's what I'm guessing. It was just yeah, it, it, uh, like I it was like a magnet for girls. It was, yeah, uh, it was it was kind of freaky. <laughs> oh, oh man, <laughs> but awesome. Uh, have right. you experienced? I kind of did actually, like a week ago. <laughs> okay. Um, well, so, yeah, because I went about nine days on no fab. Nice, nice. But then I I broke it off like two days ago. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> But uh, yeah, like around day six, seven, eight or something, uh -huh. there's this day. And even what's even more freaky is I wasn't even around them. Like girls were texting me out of nowhere. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like it's almost like the universe <laughs> is like telling them like there's seed in this guy or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like that might blow too far fetched. But like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it was really strange. And then, yeah, I don't know. My confidence. Yeah, it was just through the roof. <laughs> like I just, uh -huh. it's the type of confidence where you, like you just don't care as much. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, like things don't bother you as much. Yeah, it's probably how athletes feel all the time. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're just like uh, football. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so they're yeah. It makes sense. And it makes sense why girls like athletes so much too. You know. Yeah, they're always winning and they're just, they're <laughs> doing just like all this crazy stuff. Manly and confident and too. All the testosterone flowing through them. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Man. And they're like busy and they have a goal. Yeah. So they're not, it's easier to not think about like put a girl on a pedestal when you're working hard at a goal. Right. Yeah. That's another thing. They're not preoccupied with girls. Yeah. <laughs> they, they like sports. Yeah. Oh. Do you <laughs> so, want to ask me anything? Yeah. Well, well, what are your thoughts on porn? Like, is it, do you watch porn? I think frequently? it's a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on average, I probably watch porn lately on average once or twice a week. I wouldn't say okay. it's, it, it controls me or affects my life. Okay. But I do, uh, when I was on the NoFap for nine days, I, I was like, real, I definitely noticed a difference. Yeah. Um, a lot of more energy. There's, it's like really subtle how you just feel like doing something instead of laying in bed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's so, subtle. Yeah. It's so subtle. You don't notice it. Yeah. You're just like, oh, I'm, I'm doing something instead of laying in bed exactly yeah I don't know it's like it's you don't you don't really feel it yeah so that's why it's like easy to call it bullshit but I definitely mm -hmm. believe in it and then there's all these like crazy uh you know famous guys in history Gandhi and yeah. Tesla <laughs> Steve Jobs yeah Mike Tyson all these Muhammad Ali that, yeah, that yeah. like believe in semen retention yeah and honing <laughs> sexual power so yeah it, it makes sense yeah Oh. I was reading some research that talked about how uh, if you're having sex and orgasm with someone like you love and have feelings for uh -huh. versus masturbating and I'm sure like a one night stand like mm -hmm. if it's on the scale would be like probably close to masturbating but maybe a little bit better right that um, an orgasm with someone you love isn't the same neuro endoc um, neuro endocrinely than um, Hmm. I pronounced that wrong. But then, like, uh, th then um, masturbation. Okay, so it's like, actually like good for you. It, it, it's a lot better than, um, like, you release like a lot yeah, oxytocin. more oxytocin. Is the yeah. main one? Yeah. Did I did I answer the first one? Do I think porn's bad? Okay. Um, Sorry. Yeah, we keep getting you, off you, track. You, you, you went and you, you started talking about masturbation, but I don't okay. Think yeah, you're... I think yeah, I think it's bad. Um, I noticed a difference. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think it does make you objectify women. Even though I did this uh, 
I did this uh, video called "Is Porn Bad for You?" Yeah, like yeah. Two years ago. Yeah. And I was I always that, yeah. playing devil's advocate, and just kind of for whatever they say, you know. But and I never put out my own viewpoint, but I do think it's it. It's a very subtle, works away at your soul and your. Yeah. And it makes you it definitely makes you treat uh, girls different and look at them different. Yeah, in, yeah. In an unhealthy, shallow way. So. Yeah. So it is like. Nicely said. Yeah, uh, it's a. That's my viewpoint on it. Oh yeah, okay. Well, a lot of people argue that masturbation is healthy. Yeah. Prostate cancer, whatever. Yeah. Helps re um, prevent that. <laughs> what's, what, yeah. what's your response to them? Yeah, um, th there's actually been s some more studies on the prostate health thing. Mm -hmm. And um, that like prostate, that masturbating is good for your prostate is actually a it's like information that like Cosmo magazine gave. <laughs> yeah. Like it, it, it's kind of it's not like it like it's just, um, it was just kind of a rumor. Yeah, it and just um, kept the kind of it, like it was based off asking. I'm I'm not sure the study exactly, but based on how many times you've ejaculated in, like they asked like 50 year olds, how many times did you, did you ejaculate in your 20s, and then like it was like very unscientific. And it didn't compare like masturbation to sex. Yeah. And um, like, th uh, there's this website, Your Brain on Porn, that mm -hmm. has lots of research on science, mm -hmm. and they have this whole page, kind of re refuting the, the masturbation, is good for your prostate, and mm -hmm. they have like a bunch of research studies. So like uh, after I read about that, like cool. I, I realized that's kind of a non-issue, and that yeah, kind of like a rationalization. Right, well, and, and that's also like what the wet dreams are for. Yeah, uh, <laughs> to clean the pipes or whatever. If, they need, if it, yeah, if your balls get too. F oh yeah, so <laughs> your balls get with lots of semen, but then after like a week or so, they stop producing semen, right? Or your body, I mm. think, isn't that right? And the, or it goes into your body or the nutrients. Uh, uh okay, yeah. You know, it, it uh, yeah, the but the body just uh reabsorbs the, the extra semen and. Really, and yeah, that, and that's kind of what helps make you feel ten percent better. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's that's a large part of it. Yeah. Um, th there are there are some people who say, uh, yeah, it's about semen retention, and it's like the nutrients in the semen. Yeah. Um, but th the research I've done says it's mainly about like the neuroendocrinal changes, mainly in the brain. Mm -hmm. So your testosterone levels, your dopamine levels. Hmm. And things like that are actually the main culprit. Rebooting. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Your brain rebalancing. Like you're, uh, yeah. Right. Homostasis. Yeah. Are there benefits for girls and no fab? Yeah. Um, so um, I, I think the science and all these things is still like coming out. Mm -hmm. So, um, but um, I know there is a, a female section on no fab and that girls are reporting benefits. Wow. And um, um, like the same stuff, motivation. Um, I haven't read too much about it, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, it, it sounds like the same, same things. Hmm. Um, porn addiction too, like. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah. For, 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 from what I've, I've done a fair amount of research on this, and it's not like, um, fr from what I found is that both orgasm and porn affects like uh, affects dopamine mm -hmm. and um and t to maybe a, like a pretty large amount yeah so uh, while like there isn't the the semen retention aspects mm -hmm. to um no fat for women yeah there are the neuroendocrine benefits from right. abstaining from porn or masturbation it's, it's still giving their dopamine a break yeah exactly a chance yeah. to re reboot their brain but yeah that makes sense um when an urge comes, how do you deal with it? Yeah, um, um, one thing is meditation. Okay. That's been something I've been doing more recently. Mm -hmm. Is like wh when you feel the urge and you feel the sexual energy mm -hmm. to just kind of like sit there, close your eyes, and to just feel the energy and not have a need to jerk off or use the energy, but to just feel it. Yeah, and then you could start to be like, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym or mm -hmm. do something productive. Huh. Um, so that's been something that's been like, kind of like being present with okay. that feelings of horniness rather than like giving into it, but like kind yeah. of accepting it and being present with it. That's been a big one for me. Hmm. Um, 
another one is just like I would always have urges like late at night yeah like being on my computer yeah so I would stop like being on my computer nearly as much at night just because that that'd be okay. like a trigger for me and that's like another good habit because yeah. I actually fall asleep yeah exactly yeah cool. yeah um, you s th there was a book you mentioned last time I saw you that you like that yeah. or I think no I saw it in a in one of your videos what was the book called? Yeah, um, Cupid's Poisoned Arrow. It's so that's a good yeah. book. Yeah, um, it, it's a book of it, that book talks about um, Kreza, which is the tantric like way of sex. Mm -hmm. And um, the way I learned about that book actually was, um, yeah. So uh, when I so uh, yeah, four hundred and fifteen days ago, um, I was relapsing and looking at porn a lot, uh -huh. and it actually got to the point where I realized. I've been trying to quit porn for like five years. I've made some serious attempts, but I keep failing. Mm -hmm. Like I should do something more serious about this. Um, and I actually went up on Google and found a, a therapist. Wow. Um, yeah. And um, sex therapist. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah. I, I did look if they had um, a specialty in sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you Google, did you Google sex therapist? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Man, yeah, and you, you, and you were like, yeah, I and think I have a a sex addiction, uh, a porn addiction. So okay. yeah, yeah. Wow. And um, was it a woman? It was a man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, and yeah. he's helped you. Uh, yeah, he he actually helped a lot. Yeah. Did you how, do you still see him? Um, I only saw him for two or three months, and then I felt like I had it pretty much under control. It was mm -hmm. pretty expensive. Right. Yeah. How much was it? One hundred and fifty dollars an hour. Cool. So the insurance pay for it. Um, it covered like thirty percent of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but it it okay. took a lot of courage to actually go to the therapist. Yeah. Like uh, I remember, like <laughs> I was about to call, but then I was like, no, I got this, and then I relapsed the very next day, mm -hmm. and I was like, all right, I should do this, and right after I relapsed, I actually got on the phone. To call the therapist, mm -hmm. and the therapist picked up, and I like just hung up the phone. I was like, I got, that. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. For some reason, it was like really wow. hard for me to like admit that. Yeah, I should be more serious about this and like right. go to a therapist. You didn't know. You didn't know if he would uh, like laugh at you or something. Or uh, yeah, or like take you seriously. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you saw the therapist for. Two three months, then yeah. Then you s shortly after you started the streak. Or, um, s um, I so I started the streak about one month into therapy. Okay. He, that so was it kind of his idea? Um. Not really. He was very. Uh, but he was supportive of it. He was very supportive of it. Yeah. 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 He was like, "Yeah, do it." Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he was the one who recommended me the Keep It's Poison Arrow book. Ah. So that's how I, uh, yeah. Cool. A lot of people go 90 days for as a reboot, as a goal. Uh -huh. You've gone 400 something days. <laughs> when, when are you ever going to stop? Uh, like, uh, to be honest, I like, I don't really see any reason to uh, fap ever like, again. again. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll fap in like 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> just for fun oh, but, but like I don't well, you really want to uh, focus on like you know getting in a real relationship yeah yeah that th that's my goal yeah right have you been in love um yeah I've I'm, I'm the same as you and I, I don't think I've ever been in a in a loving relationship yeah hmm. like a like a real you don't think both people have fallen in love? Yeah. I've never been in that, yeah. Have you been infatuated with a girl? <laughs> That's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, same. Lots of times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be sure to check out uh, Luke's channel. Um, he talks about all sorts of stuff, philosophy and social anxiety and no fab. <laughs> uh, and let us know what you think of no fab and all this stuff. Yeah. I'd love to read your comments about this. The more people in the discussion, the better, and especially if you're a scholar and you're smart and stuff. So, 
Agreed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even though I'm sharing my thoughts on no porn, no fap, I, I believe everyone needs to experiment for themselves and yeah. figure out what's best for them. I'm not right. It's I'm not, not like, like a, a no fap missionary. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's uh, I guess it's just like a personal. It's, it's yeah. It's personal. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for Luke for coming on. Um, Thank you for inviting me on. This is lots of fun. Yeah, this was yeah. fun. I think this should be a good episode. Might get demonetized, but <laughs> <laughs> screw it. Uh, oh yeah, check out the Dirt and Watches. Use my code L A H W F. That looks really nice. That looks sick. Yeah, Thanks. I like it. I yeah, like yeah. It. It's a little company. Seeing it on video, like yeah. now, now that I'm seeing it on personal looks, uh, it's like yeah, uh, that's fresh. <laughs> I like it. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay him to say that. <laughs>